Hello and welcome to another budget and leggy video. This is going to be another quick TNT. This is on a Ford Transit. This is a rear hub on a Ford Transit, but this can work on the front and the rear. Um, once you get it off, the disc is in behind the hub. And as you can see, it gets very rusty and it's very difficult to take them off. Um, if you start smashing them with hammers and stuff like that, all you're going to do is start doing damage, flicking metal everywhere, possibly damaging the bearing. It's just not worth it. So I'm going to show you a really simple way of how to disconnect the, um, the hub from the actual disc. Now I've made a special tool for this, but I'm going to show you a way you don't need to make anything for it. It's a little bit more awkward than my tool because it's a lot bigger, but anybody can do it and it's to be doing or it's to be using the wheel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen all these bolts first, no point me showing you on camera, I'm going to have them sticking out a little bit. Once I've done that, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Right, okay, as you can see, I've got them sticking out just about the thickness of the actual head of the bolt. You can kind of screw them back down a little bit. Now, if this... So now I'm going to get some people saying, oh, well, you know, I tried this and I broke everything. Yes, if, if this doesn't work, you're kind of in trouble because um you know it's it's properly seized on do not force this just go nice and gentle with it i've done this loads of times i've never once had an issue with damaging bolts threads or anything like that so once you've actually got that done what you need to do is grab the tire do this and film at the same time which might be a bit awkward grab the actual tire you've taken off line it up with the uh original studs there we go and now all you got to do is screw them studs in okay i'm going to try and film this and do this at the same time nice and easy film them film them um, put them in nice and evenly all the way around don't try and uh, just force one down nice and easy And you can just check on it from time to time lift it up and as you can see we're moving can you see that look at the gap we've got on there already and i'm not doing this hard people so keep going Check again. I think that's about all we're going to get because the head of the bolt will maybe go a little bit more and then that'll be it. Right, as you can see, the heads of the bolts are more or less flush. We've got a huge gap there now, which is nice. Just let me set up the uh, impact gun with the T50 on. So screw these out now, all the way. Sorry about the camera work, it is awkward doing this.
now all we got to do you see how much it's moved there a couple of light taps and she's going to be out just got it on the vise to make it easy i've just put a screwdriver through and a, a, a screwdriver and a spanner through just so this doesn't fall off on the ground normally you wouldn't need to do this because you've got two hands but because i'm filming i don't all i've got to now do is get a little hammer two little lug taps and there we go it's out no damage no nothing you can see the rust that is actually on there how bad it is and how bad it is in there and we've done absolutely no damage to anything really nice and easy sorted you can just have a closer look in there you can see how rusty it is and how these just bind up when people try and wedge stuff in here i've seen this to break now this is the old this not really a big deal you would say but i've seen bearings to get damaged i've seen all sorts you can see how rusty even inside that bearing is um so you have to be so so careful because these in ireland are the guts of 200 quid to buy these so you don't want to replace it unless you really really have to and as you can see we've done no damage to the threads we've done no damage to absolutely anything the bolts the threads 100 percent fine look at that no shininess on the threads haven't done any damage now if yours don't come out as easy as what mine did then you do have to stop don't force your wheel studs down here because there's obviously another issue somewhere then you will start doing damage but if it's really seized you might just have to replace the whole bit because you can't really heat this up too much because you've got a bearing here so look that's it i hope it helps quick tnt how to release them with no specialist tools i have made my own tool out of an old hub um but i didn't want to show you that just because most people are not going to have an old hub and it makes it easier because it's a lot lighter than the wheel but as you can see you don't need anything you just use the wheel and uh, there we go so yeah look hope it helps please like share comment and subscribe and don't forget to links up here links down below to my facebook patreon and all that instagram but most importantly don't forget get your hands dirty see you for the next one sorted